If I'm not mistaken, Newtech was some of the first in the broadcast business to embrace NDI on a PTC camera. And the Newtech NDI HX PTC1 camera was for a very long time the Newtech PTC camera, the only one. But now we have a big brother of this one. It's called the same, but instead of one at the end, it's UHD. So obviously it's a 4K camera and it has 30 times zoom and a lot of other bells and whistles. And I think it has a pretty masculine look as well. So I like this uh, big brother to this one that we've had for ages. We have actually used this almost daily in our studio at Skahoy. We have a few of these um, involved in um, on our test shelf and we love this camera really. So we have high expectations for this one. We'll see how Skahoy controllers can also operate it because one thing these cameras have always been missing is a controller. Well, they haven't always been because Skahoy has provided this necessary tool to do proper PTC control. So the uh, PTC Fly is on the table today. We also have PTC Pro and PTC Extreme, which are larger controllers, but the integration is the same. So you can expect the same things. It's just spread across more buttons and so forth. Oh, and by the way, uh, keep an eye out for the frame shot, which is a little controller with color displays that we recently um, designed. And uh, we are bringing it out with a way to, to be a wingman with such as the PTC Fly. So you can have visual labels of your presets on this controller so you can you can recall presets from a thumbnail that shows you what you'll get that's pretty exciting um, let's look at the PTC fly here uh, if I had multiple cameras we would also see multiple buttons light up in the camera selector part of the controller currently we have camera one selected it's uh, the classic configuration you're looking at so when you press this button you see you toggle in and out of preset recall so here we have a number of presets we can recall and we can page forth and back in these presets by pressing the sides of this four-way button. So that's another thing you'll know from Skahoy technology. We design our controllers so smart that a single button press can in fact be four button presses and you can use it to do clever navigation like you find on this menu key. We also have the OLED displays which give you perfect uh, feedback on what a given button does. So now we see this is preset recall. We now have camera selection on these buttons. That's all the Skahoy signature technologies right there. Now, um, let's look at the camera output and you can see I'm pointing it to actually a PTC Extreme and there's a RecFly 3.0 over there. I want this shot to be stored as a preset, so I press and hold. Now we can zoom in maybe a little bit to the side, take a look at the tally lamps over here and the RCP we see. And you see it's actually also pretty nice in terms of uh, pan speed right there. I'll just uh, store this preset as well and then let's uh, go to the other end. Oops, that's too long a little bit. So one of the nice things about the PTC Extreme is this joystick you get. It's a, a Hall Effect joystick, very nice. I will store this preset as well. So now to quickly show you preset recall, I'll just uh, press button number one here. We recall this preset. We go over here to uh, this preset over here. And um, as I just said, okay, let me just pick this one up. Uh, the color sh um, frame shot, um, this controller that uh, we are going to put out this fall, you see these color displays that it has. This is where when you do a store preset, you will actually uh, capture the thumbnail, the current image of the camera and see it on this one. So just imagine this one along with the new take Ultra HD PC camera being your visual clue to the preset recalls you can do. But that's a side story today. I'll just put it over there, but it's a quite exciting product. Now, um, going on here, uh, we have, um, so toggling forth and back between presets and camera selection. If we press the upper edge, we have all the menu items that you're used to. So you see pencil uh, zoom speed. You also have a brightness control of the controller here, which is very useful. If you are in dimmed environments, you usually want to dial it down and you can set the IP address of the camera and of the controller itself. It's put into the menu right here. But as I'm looking at the more PTC specific things, you have exposure mode, iris shutter speed gain, you can set right here. So let's look at uh, the exposure. I can adjust the exposure by setting the iris here. I also have uh, access to gain settings. Um, over here and of course I can adjust the shutter speed as well. Now I could go into auto mode as well if I want to. Uh, and we have uh, individual modes like shutter mode and so on. It seems like I had a much better shutter speed right there to make sure that we didn't see flicker on the image. Now, uh, here we have white balance mode. Uh, I think this is the um, usual suspects like uh, we have manual, auto white balance, one push, outdoor, indoor, and auto uh, here, auto tra tracking white balance, sorry. And uh, of course, if we are in the manual mode, you have red and blue gain. Now, um, and they are obviously off a little bit. So I, 
I don't like that purple image. So we'll just uh, see if we can go back here to uh, auto mode again. So those settings are a classic example of how we integrate direct control of such more advanced parameters like red and blue gain to do uh, automatic uh, or manual white balance adjustments on any camera. You have saturation, gain mode, noise reduction and sharpness as well. And in the last case, focus menu where you can go from auto to manual. So you can see that I'm able to um, actually do um, put this out of focus by turning the knob manually and we can put it back to auto again if we want. Uh, we have one push um, focus right here and that's about the uh, features that we put into this menu. So there are more features typically hidden inside the Unisketch interface for our PC controllers. On a PC Fly, it's limited what it makes sense to put into this menu because you only have like four or five pages to page through to go from uh, exposure mode to white balance adjustments to uh, color adjustments like contrast that we just saw and then finally in the focus menu. So if you, uh, the, the reason why you would choose a PPC Extreme is to have those broken out onto individual buttons and have immediate access to, to these. There's also a, a roller wheel for adjusting focus with your thumb. So those things are what you get on the larger controllers but it's the same software that runs on any of them. On a PPC Fly we um, built that into to paging uh, on the controller so that the small form factor still allows you to do all the same things. It's just hidden in more layers and sometimes you just want to exclude it. So there are usually more actions you can assign to these buttons. If you are interested in configuring our controllers and understanding this power that's hidden under the hood, you should watch some of our other videos out there. You have seen this in many, many videos with PDC cameras, and it's generally the same concept that you'll see again and again. We are very excited to see new tech Ultra HD PDC camera uh, working with our controllers, and we are looking forward to hearing how you like this integration. Mm -hmm.